I've got a nice big double garage with small house attached. So in this series, we're going to be transforming this garage into the ultimate showroom, workshop, sort of studio space as well for me to record all of my videos in. I'm really, really excited about this. But first of all, let's open the shutters and take you for a quick tour. Today is an exciting day. Today we are doing the flooring. I've been waiting for this day since starting the garage because having, knowing I have to move everything out to get the flooring done has mean I've not been able to actually set the garage up at all. I've not been able to move any tools in, not been able to fill any of these cupboards up because it all had to come out again when the flooring went down. Today, garage style are visiting me. We're putting in some of their vented matting. It's gonna be a bit of a sort of how to do vented matting. They're gonna be doing most of the work. I will lend some assistance, but after today, the garage is gonna be absolutely transformed and I can start bringing things back in and using this as a proper workshop. I can't wait. Grab yourself a cuppa, make yourself comfortable. This is gonna be amazing. Roll the intro, Chopsy. So what I've got to do is basically get everything out of the garage now. All the bikes, there are all the bikes behind me. Thankfully, at the moment, it's not raining and it's supposed to be dry because I've got nowhere to store all this stuff without it getting wet if it rains and it's all got to come out. So Mavis, that actually means you've got to go as well. What they've told me, they don't want anything getting in the way. They don't want anything that's annoying. Any unnecessary nonsense has got to go. So unfortunately, that means you too. Unnecessary nonsense, do they not know who yeah. I am? I knew you'd like that. So there we go, more or less cleared. I'll get the guys to help me move the cabinets out, put my chairs out right before the end. But uh, yeah, what I'm gonna go for, or what I've been thinking of going for is the vented tiles, because they just look better. And the smooth ones apparently can be prone to scratching. So I don't want that, and I think the vented you know, even when you drop screws, it doesn't go through, or bolts, it doesn't go through, and it also stops things rolling off. So, and I'm going to have the uh, the lift here. So, when I'm working on bikes, it's going to be on the lift anyway. So, I don't think falls will probably fall onto the lift. So, what we're going to go for, I think, is grey and black checkered pattern, but with a red sort of border going round. And I've paid extra to have my logo across two tiles. So, the LCR logo across two tiles, it should look incredible for the skirting boards i've ordered uh, some tools because i've got such a big gap you know the regular skirting board garage style do a skirting board but it's not tall enough i need like a, a 14 and a half millimeter skirting board to go around there because it's so tall in here so uh, i've ordered skirtings but i might want to run some wires behind the skirtings i might want to put some led lights you know up lights around the bottom here obviously my cabinets are going here so there's no need to put skirting here because the cabinets are going to sit right against that and i've actually ordered my lift as well a pro bike esh 500 i think it is an electric lift here <laughs> So once this floor goes down and I can fill everything in the cupboards up, you know, I can turn this into a workshop, not just a, a storage area, which is what it's been since I moved in. I can't wait to get working on the bikes again. I can't wait to get on with the hypermotard restoration, get that started again. It's all going to happen right here. I'm very excited. Do you like my Matrix chairs? <laughs> Welcome to the real world. <gasps> Move it on. Well, guys have showed up. This is it. The, tra the transformation begins. It's nice to sit back and actually watch the experts for once. <laughs> rather than getting stuck in. So this is the uh, custom tile I went for. Look at that. That's going to look absolutely incredible, isn't it? Absolutely. And you actually manufacture all... Yeah, so all of them are manufactured in-house. Uh, so we've got two different styles of flooring. This is our vented range and then we've got PVC as well. So we do about half and half of each. Um, yeah, the vending's really popular now. You get like a 3D effect to it, lots of nice yeah. colours. Because uh, when I first started seeing it, I couldn't work out, what colour is that? Because it looks like... Yeah, I it looks two-tone, even when you do just the one colour. Because it looks like individual get, squares as yeah, well, doesn't yeah. it? So it's trying to work out... A lot of people send us those pictures saying, I want the black and grey checkered, but it's just a black floor. Or just a black with a different angle, yeah. Because yeah, so I, I thought the same thing. I thought the same. Because I did think about just going black, and then I thought, well, a bit gloomy in there. Yeah, it's always nice <laughs> to get some colours in there. We like doing... Bit of colour as well. 
But you do all sorts of size of garages. You, I've seen you yeah. do big units and stuff. Yeah, so everything workshops. from like garden sheds, and some people put it in the back of a van, um, all the way up to yeah, big industrial jobs. And oh, so yeah, vans, it has a van stuff as well. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, we've done a few, and like race teams and stuff use it for motorsport events and for temporary stuff yeah. as well. So. so I went for the vented because the solid I thought I just thought it'd be better with the vent and it's fine with kickstands and all that you yeah, said it's, 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 it's much really tougher strong. than you think so even isn't with it? moving around heavy bikes on stands even axle stands the bike lips yeah. all that sort of stuff won't damage it at all so so this is the black and dark grey checkered it's looking fantastic already just deciding whether to have the logo within the red band or or behind the red band. You have to leave it up to your subscribers. Do they want it moved <laughs> do a vote, afterwards? Do a vote. <laughs> do a live stream. Get, get a live vote on it. about these boys. Only been going about an hour. <laughs> Nearly done. Look at that logo. Really coming on now. I'm so pleased with the colours colour choice looks amazing like the red banding around there and the logo looks amazing but just the, the finishing details being done really around the edges now and we're almost there it's unbelievable Absolutely amazing. Here we've used our black and dark grey vintage tiles with the red border and the custom logo to finish it off. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on another video soon. This is their trademark before and after. Normally, there's someone that kicks the shrine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think anyone's done that. So. <laughs> Adam, you're, no, further, reckon, you're reckon, further down. Like this one. Yeah, you're down. about there. And then so, so basically, I reckon we've got to do a bit of a job. I reckon we just yeah. it's going down. Okay. All done. Look at that. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Like even though we do this all the time, it's crazy how the transformation. I know works. it's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, it makes such a difference, doesn't it? It just sort of, it's just finished now. Do you know what I mean? Before it was just not finished, and now it's just finished. Wow, <laughs> there we go, all done. It only took them two and a half hours, three hours maybe. There's a lot of chatting went on, but it's, um, it's brilliant. See, the thing about the Vented, I thought, what's it gonna be like with side stands? Apparently it's absolutely fine with, fine with side stands, center stands. Also, I was worried about if you drop something between the tiles, can you get the, the bolts out or whatever? But it's actually pretty good and you can remove a single tile. If you have to, you can pull a tile out with like a spring puller. So you don't have to take the whole thing out to get a tile out. So if you spill oil or something, you can actually remove just the tiles you need. So have a play around with that. But uh, absolutely over the moon. I've also got the hexagonal lighting. They dropped that off as well. So I'm going to install that, maybe enlist the help of Womble again to do the hexagonal lighting, but it's all in that box there. But over the moon, massive, massive thanks to Garage Style. If, if you're interested, 
Um, I'll put links below on the screen and in the description. Go pay them a visit. They're also doing a really interesting, like using these same tiles, but doing just like a pack of eight tiles just, just to sit under your bike. I'll flash a picture on the screen. So it's just like, a, instead of a mat, you have it on a set of tiles like this. Looks really cool. We may even do a deal with LCR branded bike mats using the tiles. So um, it's amazing. I'm really happy, really happy with my decision on the colors. Look at that. <laughs> it's got to get that skirting board on, but it's incredible. Absolutely over the moon. The bike lift arrives to my day after tomorrow. So uh, that's going to be a pro bike lift is going to be going in that corner there. So just in front of that little red piece, but yeah, over the moon. But thanks for watching guys as always. And uh, I'm going to enjoy putting my garage back together. See you later. Next time on the Ultimate Garage Build. I feel like Jimmy Savile. <laughs> you look like Jimmy Savile. <laughs> this is a pro bike. I think it's an ESH 500. There's no better advertisement. Sexy. <laughs> Everything about it is so sexy. <laughs> Work it, baby. Work it, baby.